In this video, I'm going to show people how to set up Machine from Native Instruments in their DAW in MIDI mode and how to resolve some issues that might crop up with using it in MIDI mode with virtual instruments like drum samplers and things like that. First thing you need to do is hold down Shift and hit Control and that puts it into MIDI mode. And then once it's in MIDI mode, So, behaving as it should, but you can hear there. And then the toms as well, it's sort of like a doubled up note on these, it's like a continuous like machine gun effect. And I wasn't sure what was causing this, but I figured out that using the controller editor if I go to the assign tab here from here you can actually set the color, so if I want to change that to red for a kick and then this is the setting that you want to change. You want to change that from poly pressure to off. And now you can hear that kick's ringing out. You can hear that that snare is being gated as well. So you need to turn poly pressure off. And now you can hear that again. It's Same with the tom. Basically, now you can hear it's just one note, one hit. You hear the difference there, like it's ringing out. The most pronounced difference will be with cymbals and crashes. So yeah, that's how you resolve that particular issue. Unfortunately, you have to do it manually, um, where you go through and you have to take the poly pressure off on this tab with whatever note it is. Then once you've done that, through the file menu, you go to save configuration. And from there, you basically save a configuration that you can reload and it'll have these settings all done for you. 
that way you can sort of map it out on uh, whatever instrument you want really so yeah hopefully that helps people figure out a bit better how to map out things on their machine and how it works in MIDI mode and how to resolve that particular issue of like notes being choked and machine gone yeah cool cheers